Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about something other than a trade-up or a skin investment. Today we're going to be talking about a case investment. But before we get into that, let's talk about the support that I've been getting recently. Thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting. It's really, really awesome to see all my subscribers going up every single time I check my channel analytics. And it's also really awesome to see how many views I've been getting on my videos and watch minutes and stuff like that. You guys have been interacting with the channel a lot recently, which is super, super nice. Uh, I'm really hoping that we can just go farther and farther so I can help even more people in the future uh, if my channel grows to that kind of size. So guys, thank you so much for doing that for me. That's really, really awesome. I'm super appreciative of that. So uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say about the support right now. So thank you guys a lot. And let's get straight into this video. So guys, the thing we're going to be talking about today is the Operation Breakout Weapon case. Now this is not the case I want you guys to look at for a potential investment, but it is something interesting. Uh, we've kind of come to the conclusion, most investment uh, makers have come to the conclusion that the K Operation Breakout case is not going to rise in price. But recently it did rise in price, which is a little bit different than a lot of people were predicting. So it's kind of interesting to see that this case has seen the same trend that a lot of previous cases have seen considering that there are so many of these in circulation, so it's kind of weird that it would have seen such a rapid increase in price. So this case is a good investment if we were alive about a week ago or so. We could have made a lot of money on this. But right now it's kind of stabilized out, and as you can see, the peak is kind of lowered to a more stable point. So it's kind of just at a stable spot right now. So the real question is, what's a better investment? Well, interestingly enough, the really odd thing about the Operation Breakout case and the kind of the main thing that made people think that it wasn't going to increase in price a lot is actually that most of the other cases have already rose in price. Here's a little chart that shows when each case was released. As you can see, the Operation Vanguard case was pretty much the most recent release after the Operation Breakout case. It was not very long after the Operation Breakout case. Also, it was one of the main series cases. The 2014 eSports case doesn't count. But as we can see here, the Operation Vanguard case has already reached a price point higher than the Operation Breakout case, and it's been at this price point for quite a while now. So, odd. And the extra weird thing is, well, most cases have already kind of seen this interesting increase in price. The Chroma case even has increased in price to a point that a lot of people didn't expect it to make, which is really, really odd, because the Chroma case is kind of bad in general. But the... The thing about the Chroma case that makes it increase in price, as most people think, is probably the fact that it has really good knife skins in it. And the same can kind of be said for the Operation Breakout case. Its increase in price has kind of correlated with the increase in the butterfly knife prices, which makes sense because, you know, the Operation Breakout case is the only case that drops the original butterfly knife skins. So in that sense, the increase in the price of the Breakout case kind of makes sense, actually. But you know what's really interesting? that most of the other cases have already seen a price increase, but the Operation Breakout case hadn't seen one despite being released a lot earlier. And also, the Operation Breakout case rose in price a fair bit after the Butterfly Knife rose in price. So it's a little bit odd that the correlation is there, but it kind of happened at a different time period, which makes it a really odd thing in general. Now another interesting thing is the Operation Phoenix case. The Operation Phoenix case has also seen a pretty large increase in price recently, which is, I mean, to be expected to be honest, it's an old case and it's also an operation case, so it kind of makes sense that it would be increasing in price at this point. But it's kind of weird that the breakout case didn't see a price increase until the Phoenix case had already done its run its course and had its full price increase. So. Now the question is, what's the next best case to invest in? Which one's going to go up next now that the breakout case has reached its top? So the next question is, what's the next best case to invest in? If we look at the list of recent case releases and the case releases in general, we can kind of see that most of them have already reached their highest price point possible. A lot of them have already reached the price that they're probably going to stay at. So it's kind of hard to say what the next case investment is going to be. However, there is one specific case recently that has not seen a price increase since its original three cent price point. It also features good knives inside of it and a fairly good case overall. And yet it still hasn't seen a price increase. And that case is the Gamma case, the original Gamma case. Now, it's a little bit odd that this is still at three cents because the Chroma case rose already, the Breakout case rose already, so to see this thing still being traded at three cents is a little odd. But it makes sense because if you look at the volume of them, there are a ton of these in circulation. 
Plus, they haven't stopped dropping in matches recently. You can still get a Gamma case from a drop, I believe, so that can kind of also influence the volume of them. So I'm going to go ahead and say that these uh, Gamma cases are probably the best thing you can buy in terms of case investments in this current era of CSGO, uh, just based on you know the, the trends that we've been seeing recently. Now, obviously, it's a long-term investment. You're going to have to hold on to these things for quite a while before they do increase in value, and uh, just make sure that you obviously wait until they're taken out of the drop list for CSGO. Otherwise, they're not going to increase in price anytime soon because more of them will be put into the market every single day just from people playing and getting them as drops. So uh, let's kind of run through some little calculations here. So let's say you kind of just want to dip your feet in the water of this case investment and you go ahead and spend $30 on this case. That means you can buy a thousand of these gamma cases at three cents each. Uh, obviously don't do that and I'll explain why in a second, but let's just go with that for now. Let's say you spend $30 and you buy a thousand of these cases. Now, let's say that these follow the same trend as the breakout case, and they end up going to about $0.13 cents a case. And let's say it's just $0.13 cents in a vacuum. Let's say there's no fees included or anything like that, just to make this easy on us. So you go ahead and you sell the 1,000 cases for $0.13 cents each, uh, without fees, obviously. And now you've made $130, which means, obviously, taking away the $30 that you initially invested, you've now made $100 on that investment while only spending 30 to begin with. So it's a fairly safe thing to do. It's a fairly smart thing to do as well, uh, considering the current state of things. So that's definitely what I would recommend. Now, what I was saying about, you know, not uh, immediately buying $30 worth of cases just straight from the community market is something you can actually do is trade keys for cases. A lot of people actually trade cases to keys about 600 cases for one key. And obviously a key costs $2.50. So two keys will get you 1,200 cases at the current market price. That's actually a little bit lower than the current market price. I actually think it's increased to somewhere around 700 cases per one key, uh, but let's say 600 just to make it easy. So now you can get 1,200 cases for the cost of two keys, which is $5. And that's more than you know $30 worth of cases from the Steam community market. So that definitely maximizes your investment uh, if you sell them at the Steam community market price of about 13 cents without fees included, uh, then you're now making $130 still, uh, while only putting in about 5 So very, very cheap to invest in, and generally a pretty smart idea. Just make sure that you're storing the cases on an alt of some sort, otherwise they are going to fill up your inventory very, very quickly. And uh, I have some, obviously, some Reddit threads up on screen of people that are trading cases and keys at that general trade value. It's not very hard to find a trader that wants to do this. A lot of people want to upgrade their cases into keys because they're more liquid and stuff like that, which is really nice. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to sum up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's cue the outro. So guys, just to reiterate, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for all the recent support I've been getting. Make sure you leave a like below if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more content like this, also leave me a comment with any of your concerns, maybe what I did wrong in this video and what I can improve for the future, or maybe leave a comment just telling me that what you liked about the video, or even just give me a request for what you want to see in the future, and I will honor that request as long as the video idea is, you know, good. I still have a couple videos that I want to make in the future, but they require a little bit of, you know, monetary investment into making the video. So uh, that's coming in the future, obviously. I also have something really, really special planned during the Steam Summer Sale, which is about 10 days away from the current upload of this of this current video. And uh, yeah, that hopefully that is pretty nice for you guys when that actually ends up coming out. So yeah, well guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day. I'm signing out. Peace.